Hi, this is Joel from Mycotech. Today we're going to talk about downloading and putting sounds onto your calder. Um, we've got the new Night Stalker Plus here in front of us today and the new Animal Audio app downloaded on an iPhone. Um, so first off, what you're going to do is go into the sound market here, um, scroll through, find some sounds you want to download, and we've got a lot of different varieties of sounds here. Um, let's say we'll go with some sort of bird, some sort of bird sound today. Um, we'll grab VV Crane as our free sound. We'll hit Git right there. It'll take a second here to download the sound to our phone. And then if we want to go ahead and put that right onto our caller, what we're going to do is move into my library down at the bottom. We're going to hit the transfer button right up there in the top right. And we'll hit bird. We'll find that VV crane that we just downloaded. And then we hit transfer. This pops us up to a screen like this where you'll want to hit save to files. It'll bring you to a screen like this. At this point, you want to grab your card reader and you'll want to grab your SD card out of your Night Stalker Plus or any other caller that has a removable SD card. You'll take that out, slide that into the card reader here. This card reader can get plugged straight into your phone like such. And then you'll want to go back and the card will show up here. Right here it'll show no name or it might show Night Stalker Plus or whatever the caller's name might be, but for our testing purposes today it's going to show no name. Um, you'll click that. That'll open all of the categories that are on your caller. Um, you can see we've already created a sample category um, and then we've also got all the categories that are already on your Night Stalker Plus. Um, so for this one we know it was a bird sound, so we can just pop open that bird folder. Um, we can change the name down here. If you want to leave the underscores in there, you can do that. If you want to leave the number, you can do that as well. Um, I like to clean those up a little bit. Just change it to VV Crane, like so. Hit Done. Um, and then that's going to save that to that SD card in the AAF uh, file type. So now what we can do is we can take the card reader out of our phone here, uh, take the card out of the card reader, Pop that back into the back of the uh, Night Stalker Plus here. We turn the Night Stalker Plus on. Then we can grab our sync cable. Pop that in here. Connect that to our remote for our Night Stalker Plus. And then we can go ahead and turn that on. That's going to start syncing all the sounds, all the categories that we might have created. Um, so now we can go ahead and unplug that. And you'll see that it added um, that sample category as well as if we go into our bird category here and hit the select button, we'll be able to go to the bottom here and you'll see there's VV Crane, the one that we just added. Um, so it's really simple, really easy process to download sounds to your caller. Um, you can see that took me maybe a couple minutes, if that. And once you get the hang of it, you'll be speeding right along, putting tons of sounds on here as quickly as possible. Um, but we can go back to the to the main main menu of the remote now. Um, for those not aware, we do have the new categories um, on your remote. So as soon as you load it up, you'll notice that all the sounds are in categories. You no longer have to name them um, with numbers or anything like that. Um, you'll just be right in the right in the categories right off the get-go. Um, so you can go scroll through, say you want to pull up a fox sound, hit select and it'll pull them all up. You'll notice they'll scroll across the screen for you so you can read the whole name if the name happens to be a little longer. Um, you can create categories now like we did with the sample category, um, an African category because we have some African animal sounds on our animal audio app. Um, and that whole process is pretty easy as well to create those categories. I'll show you that quickly as well. Um, we can pop that SD card back out of the Night Stalker Plus. Put that into the card reader. Um, we'll open our Files app on our phone. Here, we'll go to Files. Put that card reader back into your phone. Go back. And it'll show up here as soon as the phone recognizes the SD card. So again, this card happens to just be called No Name. We'll click into that. 
You'll see up here, here is that category that we already created, the sample category. Uh, right now it's empty. Um, so what you can do is you can hold your finger down on that. You can delete it if you don't want that anymore. Or if you want to create a different one, maybe you want to name it something different. Um, maybe you want to name it my favorites or something like that, just so it's a, a different folder um, that you can store all your specific sounds in that you want access to. Um, you can do that by hitting, like I said, up there with the three dots in the top right, the new folder, and that gave us this untitled folder here. We can rename it by tapping there, hitting rename. You can rename it to my favorite. And then now whenever we transfer sounds like we did with that VV crane, we can transfer them into my favorites directly. Um, so let's go ahead and go do that. So we're in the transfer screen again. We'll go back to my library just to show the process. Um, you'll hit this icon in the top right. Let's say we want to put something else in my favorites. What else? We've got VV rabbit screams. Let's go ahead and drop that into my favorites. We can hit transfer, save to files. It might automatically open this iCloud drive. You can go back, hit that no name, which we know is the SD card, and then you can go to my favorites down here. And then, like I said before, you can rename it to whatever you want by tapping down here. I always at least like to get rid of the, the numbers at the end. Um, it, it just adds those um, in, in the iOS app. Um, so what you'll do is hit that save button, and now VV Rabbit Screams is on that folder. And then once again, we plug it back in, sync it to the, to the controller, um, and we will be ready to go with that sound in a My Favorites category folder. Um, so as you can see, pretty simple. Um, if you guys have any questions, let us know. Um, but hopefully this uh, explains everything pretty well.